Hello YouTubers, how are you? Today I'm gonna teach you how to write yourself a clean, good Android 8.0 Oreo. So if your country is not listed for the new update and you're still having the 7.0.1 Android, well, I'm gonna show you how to do this. I will write this new Android because I have some problems, for example, at the calendar when I try to put an event and repeat that event uh, weekly uh, without an end, well, uh, somehow uh, the calendar does not uh, announce me with a ringtone. It just uh, uses a small ringtone and then it cuts it off. It's some kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of problem. With and I wanted to update the calendar, but I don't uh, seem to find just update for the, that uh, calendar. Um, another problem is that uh, sometimes when you want to use Shazam, uh, it tells you that another application is using the microphone and uh, I don't want to search, I don't want uh, headaches f by searching these problems over the internet. I'm going to install Android 8.0 Oreo because uh, Samsung tells us that it's the most stable Android and uh, well performing in the battery, the best Android in all times. So if uh, we are looking at the Android 6. Samsung tell us uh, to the S7 Edge for example, Android 7 is going to be the cleanest Android, the most performant. It wasn't. Why is that? Because the battery was better at uh, the Android 6. The battery in uh, Android 7, it had bugs, it had problems in uh, maintaining a good battery over uh, an entire day. So I hope the Android 8.0 will uh, do the job and will help me uh, perform better because uh, if we are going at the settings uh, in the software update, we're gonna find some information for the Oreo update. Let's dim the light just a little bit. If we will go here and the information on the Samsung docs, it will tell us what improvements this Android has. So guys, I don't recommend you if you don't have problems with your device, don't make updates. Don't make updates. Don't give yourself headaches. Uh, don't bring yourself problems without uh, you having problems. And now, for example, I'm facing problems, I'm a businessman and I don't afford my time uh, making problems with the updates. I think like this now. If something works, well, leave it like that. What attract my attention? I want uh, to see in uh, biometrics if uh, it will improve the security and most the iris. The iris, you know, if uh, you are uh, going to put uh, your uh, iris scanner in uh, inside, well, when you go into the light, you will have problems unblocking the phone. So I want to see if uh, Android 8 will fix this or it still remains a hardware problem. Um, and I want to see it uh, tell us that the system performance will be greater. The keyboard, the edge screen will be improved, the smart views, Samsung account, account I don't give a damn. Uh, the Samsung Cloud, uh, Samsung Dual Messenger, I, I'm not interested in other improvements. What I'm interested in is that uh, I want these new supports for high quality audio because it has a uh, Bluetooth 5.0 and um, uh, for example, we have a review with uh, the Harman Kardon Go Play. I'm interested if uh, I can achieve wireless uh, streaming hi-fi music because uh, that's this is another talk. But I'm I'm really interested in these new codecs in uh, streaming good high quality, a uh, large information audio. Guys, uh, as a marketer, I'm going to tell you that this is a bad thing that for uh, for the Samsung and a good thing for us fans that they released the Android 8.0 just when they released the S9. So this is a bad thinking uh, when you release a new product to uh, release on the S8 uh, the Android 8.0 because a lot of users, a lot of people are interested in that uh, new Android. You know when they launched the S7, the S8, they didn't launch to the previous uh, uh, versions 
to the previous models uh, the same android versions they didn't do that now i don't think the sales will be like their expect especially that this s8 and s9 are identical let's be reasonable guys uh the phones are just the same they did uh, they did like the apple did that stupid thing like they did with the iPhone 8 compared to iPhone 7 they are the same a small modification well Samsung is this stupid thing uh, in this year I'm going to do a review next week I don't know when for uh, comparing the SA with the S9 will be an interesting review we're gonna laugh but until then guys let's install this new system like in that uh, previous tutorials well you're gonna have to make your backup so go in uh, cloud and accounts go in your google account in your whatever you have uh, yahoo account or whatever account you have and make your backup so backup your uh, phone calls your calendar your uh, notes backup everything google chrome bookmarks backup everything because in the first partition will uh, will be delete every information will be deleted so now synchronize your data synchronize your i don't know what you need the calendar the chrome uh, contacts uh drive google feed data if you have synchronize everything go even in the samsung account you have and be careful you have the samsung notes so uh, you will find the samsung notes only in the samsung account if you have a samsung account after this guys launch the smart switch and in the smart switch you have more preferences and and i selected the backup only what am i interested in so i have the contacts the calendar the messages the samsung notes uh, look you have it uh, in the smart switch the call log the clock internet samsung health and reminder here in the multimedia applications i didn't select every anything because i'm not interested in keeping the applications don't keep your applications is not the same as updating for example i can update uh let's click uh, the settings let's click ok confirmation save and for example i can now make an update to the galaxy s8 so uh, it will not be the same because the application will be converted uh you will not do anything you know these uh, systems in one one and a half years uh, maximum uh, it will deteriorate it will make your phone uh, work terrible uh, as you uh, as you load applications in your phone, uh, the application will slow up the system and the system will slow up by itself. Um, and you got to do uh, this format of uh, the Android. So it's not the same updating with this or uh, restoring or uh, backuping, sorry, your application. It's best to do a clean install. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So now guys, to find your firmware, go at www.sammobile.com and go in the firmware look for your model code this is uh, let's see my model code is G950F F this is the S8 search for it it will find it look only for your uh, your numbers put exactly your model number here do not use other firmware if your country is not listed go uh, if you are in europe go to in italy in united kingdom and download i think it will work our small differences if your phone works perfectly with that firmware uh, other problems can't be because these updates are small modification with that uh, transmission uh, relays codes so uh, if your phone works correctly uh, then the firmware will be good uh, it's best yeah it's best to select your country but if you don't have the country you can uh, go and uh, download you can go with the fast download or the normal download i don't know why chrome is not working now but i will download with uh, the internet explorer 
I'm curious with this Oreo update if I will achieve something new, if I will get performance, if I will get battery because I'm interested in this feature. Even, even if uh, I uh, made op an optimization, a perfect optimization of my system to hold me the battery one and a half days. Yes, I, I did this. I can uh, work with my phone with the Galaxy S8 one entire day in the medium to heavy use and uh, normal use uh, i say one and a half day i will make uh, a video for this teaching you guys and helping you make your phone better until it will download the Aurora update i'm gonna use uh, all the firmware just to show you how to use the odin so now you, if you selected the uh, ap you have the BL, the CP, and uh, I think the CSC. And uh, put all uh, the fields. CP, yeah. And the CSC. And you have uh, a user data, but I don't know what uh, this file is. I never use it. Now, guys, to put your S8 in the download mode, hold the volume down. The uh, First of all, unplug your charger hold volume down bixby button and power with uh, the power key and here is the menu let's dim the light and insert the cable so volume up to continue and now in the odin you got to have in the idcom the phone discovered if your phone is not discovered probably you have a problem uh, with your drivers reinstall your samsung drivers in the device manager in my computer now guys if your download will not work when you push the start button you got to go in developer options um, if you don't have the developer options go at about phone software information and build number and push 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 until you see developer mode in three to one and it will enable your uh, developer mode in the developer mode you will have the OAM unlock. Check this, turn on this feature for uh, preventing having the problems, giving error for, uh, for the software. And now let's go in the download mode, turn off completely your phone. Hold volume up, power key, and hold them now guys you're ready to install and push the start button in the OD uh, I think it will uh, last 10 minutes or 15 minutes maximum the making the update I'm not going to make the update now because my download isn't ready but uh, you can see other uh, for you beginners you can see our other tutorials for uh, upgrading downgrading we have a, a lot of tutorials how to write this firmware and uh, your download will be ready a small tip a small tip if your uh, phone doesn't boot up and it will remain in the Samsung logo for 10 20 minutes maximum you can uh, make a reset for the phone hold this time a turn off the phone hold the volume up the Bixby button and the power key and then use for the factory reset and uh, wipe catch the partition do not panic if your phone will uh, stick on the samsung logo for 20 minutes i think in 20 or 30 minutes maximum um, your phone will uh, turn on with the first menu selecting the language um, you can do this firmware update another way you can uh, download in your phone by wi-fi uh, the new firmware within the about section in the firmware update and then after the Oreo made his uh, I don't know application uh, compatibility checks and uh, will do his job you can go turn off your phone use your Bixby button volume up and the power key and go make a factory reset and wipe catch partition and you have a clean system.
it's uh, best for beginners this advice i hope this tutorial help you guys uh we're gonna do tutorials for 8.0 to see the performance of the phones you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives see you guys thumbs up for this video and subscribe please thank you for watching have a great day guys bye